hi i am faisal and in this video i will teach you how to download latest version of python so let's get started go to edge or whatever browser you like i'm using edge because of its uh, latest functionality of uh, chat gpt it is also known as bing chat okay so how to download python you go to python.org open this website and then go to download if you have core i3 or any cpu minimum ram is 4 gb but if you want to have a computer which doesn't lag which work faster so for that you need core i7 with 8 gb ram and this is what i would recommend lower spec computers also work but recommended is core i7 and 8 gb ram the recommended operating system is windows 10 latest and upgraded version so if you don't have windows 10 i would strongly recommend you to upgrade your computer to windows 10 or better to have uh, windows 11 latest and uh, upgraded version let's uh, open information about windows and there's one thing in the note that uh, you cannot use the stable release uh, on uh, windows 7 or earlier so if you have windows 7 or previous window before windows 7 like vista xp you should upgrade that and similar uh, requirement is for uh, python 3.11.2 so let's go back to downloads and press this uh, download button so the download is started and it is downloaded with me um, let's open the uh, download folder and here I have uh, press the installer double click it here don't forget to check the last option add python.exe2 path this is a useful path uh, with the help of this you will be able to call to use python program from any folder path so i will check this so remember to check this path and then go to uh, install now where it will be installed the default path is C user your username app data local programs python python 311 check this option click on this what it basically says is that uh, it is a dialog box of uh, user account control it says that you are uh, going to install a package it is verified publisher this is going to be installed from my hard drive uh, so shall i continue this is what it says so press it will take some time one thing about the downloaded file is 24.1 megabyte if it is less than this then this means your download is incomplete you may have a problem that your setup is not running if it is not running the reason can be that uh, you have incomplete download so make sure that you have a complete downloaded file it is now installing tickle and tk support now pip is being installed now the installation is successful and i can use it it uh, directly point me to the tutorial this is the tutorial which i would recommend terminal mean the command prompt from command uh, prompt you you can type pi or you can type python the python will start so let's press this 
close and now uh, let's start uh, using Python. The first use of Python is that you use Python from uh, CMD, command prompt. Let's open CMD. And in the CMD, when you type uh, here, pi, so it points me to the version which I just downloaded and installed. You can exit Python by typing exit and then brackets. You can also write Python. And exit. You can also check version directly by typing Python double dash version. Now you can open Python and start using it. One way to use is uh, the easiest way that you open uh, the same CMD, open Python, and then you start printing Python commands like print hello world exclamation close the bracket quotes print bracket quotes hello world and then quotes bracket close and it prints you back whatever you have asked it to print this is one way of running Python code at this other way of uh, running python code is to use idle so search for idle i have many versions of python installed in idle i have uh, for python 3.11 uh, open this thing python 3.11 make it big and here type python command like uh, Paint hello world. So it prints you back what you, you have asked. Now, sometime you want to save your files for that, go to file new. And in this new file, type the command which command or set of commands which you want to save. I will type just one command hello world when you are done with typing when you have written all your commands go to save i would like to save it on desktop in the desktop i've created a folder programming 2023 labs lab one uh, and here i would like hello and it will have an extension of dot pi so this file is saved. Let's close it from here. You can also open this file from text editor, like notepad. For example, go to lab one, and then go to hello.py, open with notepad, and it is open, and you can see the commands which you have typed. In order to run your pi files from idle, go to file, new file, and from here, go to file, open, and in the open, go to quick access, lab one, hello.py open it this is actually the same file which i just saved to run it go to run run module it is restarted it rained and it give me output so this was all about how to install python and how to run it from command prompt as well as how to run it from idle i hope you learned it if you have some issue you can ask me in the comment section thank you